because I know what I envision mm-hmm. and I know what I have to put in in order to to reach that more than anything and before anything I always ask God I'm like just let me reach my full potential one of the most frequently asked questions in music is where is Normani is she ever going to release an album and she decided to stop pursuing a career in music and instead decided to pursue a career in modeling Despite some of her most notable achievements, such as serving as an inspiration to many by using her platform to talk about the importance of representing black women, accumulating over 1 billion streams on Spotify, selling over 11 million records worldwide as a solo artist, she still struggled with showcasing to the world what she is capable of at her full potential. People finally got an opportunity to see what I was capable of, but not necessarily really tapping into who Nirmani is as an artist. After the success of Wild Side, fans were led to believe that an album was coming, until it didn't. Nirmani then rolled out a second single in Fair, much slower in tempo, a raw and vulnerable record that her core audience can latch onto, translated well. Then fans thought, finally, Nirmani is in album mode. And unfortunately, nothing came. Debut album. Do you have a date in mind? I hate being asked this question, <laughs> but I know that it's it's only right. Um, definitely towards the end of the year. So I wanted to research what Normani's train of thought was after releasing some of her bigger singles, such as Motivation, Love Lies, and Wild Side, to see what I could pinpoint as far as why fans may have not received a debut album yet. Upon departing Fifth Harmony to embark on a solo career, her gifts and talents for singing, dancing, live performances, vocal arranging, and video directing helped her hit the ground running fast, achieving success and momentum that helped carve out an early impact for her. Massive records such as Love Lies has over 821 million streams to date, Motivation has over 318 million streams to date, and Wild Side has over 126 million streams to date. However, it seems the success of these records happened so fast and in a way that she didn't quite imagine or understand the impact she had on her fans and pop culture. <laughs> Did you have problems with motivation after it was put out into the world? Yeah. Like what? I didn't want to release it. Finding creative freedom and defining herself in the pop music industry has always been important for Normani. She is an artist that embraces the challenge and always has a vision in mind for her art. She wants to create a mood and change how people approach a song going into the studio. And she has always been respected by her peers for her dedication to her craft. And it would be fun and like awesome and like would really just like raise the bar on these hoes if like we danced together. Well like dance off and dance together. Like that'd be tight. Speaking of like the VMAs and I saw Normani's performance, I was like, that could be you next year. I got to get on it though. <laughs> you got it. So she was, she's, she's really she inspired can, me, honestly. She... The pros of that is being able to impact different aspects in your art that someone who is one dimensional may not be able to. But the cons of this is that with creative control comes a lot of responsibility and pressure. I get like emotional because like I wasn't supposed to be the one. Why do you say that? Because I always felt like that. One of the strongest proclamations from fans is that she's being sabotaged by her label RCA and that she doesn't need them. They are convinced that she can do without the major label system and do it all on her own. While that may be true, I think it's possibly too early to determine. Some artists have had success on RCA while some have experienced some troubles. Every artist is different and perhaps we don't have enough evidence to suggest that Normani may fare better on an independent route. And perhaps we can revisit this once a debut album has been released. Work ethic for me and honestly artist development is something that I wholeheartedly believe in and I like to give myself the proper amount of time. That pressure leads to a lot of mental battles for an artist. At times, you can be overly critical of yourself. And because she strikes me as a perfectionist, who is focused on rising to everyone's expectations, including her own, the expectations can get heavy. Could she be standing in her own way? Perhaps it's a trauma response that was built within her during her time in a group, and that may have led her to having to compromise herself for the betterment of the group. And maybe she hasn't all the way healed from it. I never had the opportunity to even be able to get to know myself in that way. And like I said, 15 versus 25, like I needed to go through some stuff to 
to give the most authentic version of myself. When I listened to her talk about one of her biggest singles in Motivation, she admitted that she didn't want to put it out, but was forced to due to how much money was spent producing the record and the visuals. What actually pushed you to do it? I mean, I, I didn't have a, a choice. <laughs> A lot of money was spent. <laughs> Let's start there. I think it's extremely fascinating, despite her being one of the biggest pop stars currently, that she's very private. That even the fact that we're speculating and trying to pick apart her work ethic or her love or the timing of releasing a debut album lets me know that she's safeguarding the truth and we don't know the truth. And the reality is only her and her team know. For this to be me and for my vision to be able to come to life, I'm willing to do like any and everything, like all that it takes to see that that comes to light. Along with the pressure that she places on herself, life circumstances are a factor as well. For Normani, music is a release of emotion that she enjoys and bears her soul into, but she does not place it as priority over her family. And if anything happens to her family, she is admitted to taking her foot off the gas musically to attend to her family's needs. When my mom is sick, anything to do with my family, I'm like, music? I gotta go home. And when I heard Zane Lowe telling Omani that she's allowed to take her time and she's allowed to get to know herself before she lets us all in, a light bulb went off. That maybe the sooner we as fans can grasp that same understanding, maybe the more patient we can become. And maybe we can enjoy this process while waiting the album as the destination and give Normani the chance to grow. The way that you guys are able to experience me isn't the way that I'm able to experience it for myself. So I always, I'm like, God, please just like allow me to see myself in your eyes. And as a fan, I do understand what it's like to be waiting on music and waiting and waiting from an artist that you enjoy and you're just thinking, I just wish this music would come out. You know, you can be disappointed you can be hurt by it, you can be confused because of how much that music and that person means to us. But I also understand how demanding the creative process can get. And I can understand that that's just one side from the artist's experience. But I feel like first and foremost, I wanna be happy with what it is that I create and put out into the world. And that is one of the most important processes of shaping an identity creatively for an artist. Normani may not be ready to give us a body of work. Maybe she's still tweaking. Maybe she's still learning things about herself to put into this work that's going to be great once it's delivered to us. And all we have to do is be patient. When I look at it that way and I look at it as a way for me to be patient, what's the worst that can happen? And I think that I look up and I'm like, damn, you're not even like freeing yourself to just be. And as I'm hearing her talk about her craft, how much love and care and time that she puts into her craft, all the attention to details that she tweaks and works on and spends so much time on, I have no other reason to believe that once a body of work, once a debut album is delivered from Normani, it's going to be great and exceptional. You also want people around you that aren't yes men and that will straight up tell you like, no, you're cutting yourself short. Push yourself because you're better than this. Once I look at it that way, I can just trust Normani in the process. But as a Normani fan, let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if she's taking too long. Let me know if you've lost hope. Let me know if you trust the process like me. Stila was always a mouth. You were born to do this, you feel? Yeah.